Hi, it's Ryan at Bruce Ford, and I just wanted to share a little bit about what I've been learning about the F-150 trucks. I'm new to Ford, and uh, I'm new to, uh, a little bit new to the truck world, in fact, and I wanted to know what the difference was between all the different models. So you've got a 4x4, you've got FX4, and you've got a Tremor. You also have the Raptor, which is a whole other ball game as well. It's a whole different model, its own model as well. But I just wanted to know more about what is the main dif what are the main differences between these three trim levels. So I just want to share a little bit of this with you. So first off, we have the standard F-150. You can get it in a variation of, uh, I guess, cabs. You've got the regular cab, you've got the super cab, and you've got the crew cab. So full four doors on the crew cab and you've got the suicide type door on the super cab. This super cab here um, has the uh, 4x4 package on it, so it's four wheel drive. Um, when you go with a four wheel drive in a Ford, uh, you get uh, shift on the fly, so you don't have to stop, put it in neutral, do all that kind of stuff. You can just shift on the fly, electronic shift on the fly. You also get the tow hooks on the front, so you see the two heavy duty tow hooks on the front. Um, and you get selective drive modes. So you've got selective drive modes for a normal, eco, sport, tow haul, slippery. And then uh, when we have the four wheel drive package, then you also have deep snow and sand and mud and rut. And what that does is it modulates the throttle response, the transmission uh, shift modes, um, and even steering feel and control. Uh, to give you better control in those situations as well. So that's cool, but you can also get, this one has an optional skid plate too. So you can also get, you can upgrade to having a skid plate. Oops. <laughs> so there you see the skid plate underneath protecting the front end. So on this next one up, you get the FX4 package. The FX4 package adds uh, mono tube rear shocks Hill descent control, give you better control going downhill, better uh, uh, steady control with uh, less uh, brake wear and whatnot as well. Uh, you get off-road tuned front shock absorbers, sta uh, standard skid plates, and rock crawl mode, which is also really cool as well. So uh, more uh, capable with the FX4 versus the 4x4. Then there's this guy. <laughs> This is the Tremor. Uh, the Tremor is pretty cool. Um, it is a unique model as well. Um, it's not a standalone, but it is a little bit different. You can see already, uh, you've got the, it's like this orange uh, um, bronze colored stripe. You also have the tow hooks in the unique color down there. But what you also do have, you may notice between the two, you have a different ride height. So it sits up higher than the standard FX4. Uh, so you have more ground clearance, but they've also modified the bumper. Notice how the bumper, it doesn't have the little deflector there for aerodynamics. So you may get a little bit less fuel consumption uh, in the Tremor, but that's not what you're going for. Also notice when I looked over underneath the skid plate on the other vehicle, it's not like this skid plate. <laughs> this one goes from side to side. It's absolutely huge. It's a higher grade of steel. It's heavy, heavy duty. Um, it is something else. Uh, it also has what you see in the Raptor. Uh, so it's got the, uh, the hood vent uh, details up there. Um, notice too, these uh, running boards, they are like super, super, super heavy duty steel. Uh, these are steel, of course, underneath, but they're coated with plastic. There's plastic surround. Uh, this is just a little bit of something <laughs> something different. Uh, you also have unique uh, uh, suspension components as well. Uh, notice too, if you can see this. So it has a modified leaf spring structure. It once again has improved even over what the FX4 is. It has unique, that's the FX4 here. Um, it has unique um, front and rear uh, suspension components. It has Oh man, this is a laundry list. I'm reading here. <laughs> um, so it has heavy duty rear axle. It's got a nine and three quarter rear axle. Uh, so it's just more heavy duty. 
these exhausts are unique. Notice how the exhausts on the other ones come out the side. But this one straight out the back, it sounds amazing. Notice too the, uh, the tow hooks in the back. The other ones don't have the tow hooks in the back. There you go. It has unique uh, tremor control arms, sway bars, front knuckles, uh, the step, the side steps, of course, that we saw as well. Um, something about this, obviously, because it's unique and because it's specialized for off-road, um, it has more movement in the body. So if you're going crazy off-road, it can control it much better. Uh, it has a slightly reduced uh, toe rating uh, over the FX4 uh, because of the unique sway um, uh, the sway bars and the knuckles and everything and the control arms that it's uh, hooked up to. Um, but you have the addition of its prowess off-road. So um, you also have the option, you can also upgrade to a heavy-duty torsion limited slip diff uh, if you want. Um, it is a pretty cool machine. So anyways, I just want to show you a couple of things that are a little bit different between the 4x4, the FX4, and the Tremor. As a last little tidbit. Figured I'd fire this up. Sounds good. Anyways, there we go. Uh, engine in this one here, uh, all standard engines in the uh, the Tremor are the uh, three and a half liter uh, EcoBoost engine. Uh, lots of power and torque, and quite good on gas actually as well. Anyways, there you go. If you'd like to know more, uh, I can answer any of your questions. I'm still learning myself. Uh, I just thought I'd share what I know so far. Uh, if you want some more information, please give me a call, email, text, whatever. I'd be happy to hear from you.